The theater world hears much talk today about immersive theater. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Like most terms in the arts, it can expand and contract to contain whatever the speaker has in mind. But surely RS Theatrics' current offering in the Kranzberg Art Center qualifies. Chairs have been arranged in a square, no set. Lights, so we are all lighted, but no design to them. Sound is designed, very importantly so, by Mark Kelly. Heather Tucker marshals the properties. In the middle of the square, or sometimes at an edge or a corner, or sitting with the audience, is Nancy Nye, the narrator. She narrates the story of her childhood and youth, when her mother attempted suicide more than once, and what she tried to do to help her mother. She came up with the idea of making a list of things that make life worth living, of every brilliant thing, as the play's title puts it. The list grows and grows. Other people add to it, make copies of it. Did her mother look at it? Did it help? The narrator grows up, falls in love, marries, separates, and the list stays with her, or more accurately, disappears and reappears. We were each given slips of paper with numbered sentences on them when we entered. At relevant points in the story, Nye calls out a number. One of us reads the sentence with that number. Sometimes she engages in conversation with an audience member who may or may not have something to read. It all works well and pleasantly enough, and the story gets told. Duncan McMillan with Johnny Donahoe wrote Every Brilliant Thing. Tom Kopp directed it. Nye's control of the evening is careful, responsive, and convincing as the narrator. The evening is storytelling, not theater, even with the brief exchanges with the audience, which call attention to themselves and break the connection with the story, Nye gets the connection back. The story is told. And told very well. I really enjoyed it. Good.